Happy Valentine's Day. This is Pretty Baby Jackson. And this is another segment of Bottom Line with Pretty Baby. However, this is not your traditional um, setup. And um, I guess video, whatever. Anyway, um, I just wanted to address um, basically whatever comes to mind. <laughs> Today is a unique day, and um, I just wanted to relish in it accordingly, you know. Um, I do have this to say, you know, um, um, we, as human, we have a, a, a default um, attitude or, you know what I mean, way of being, way to exist, etc., whatever. Sometimes when things are not, you know what I mean, so good, going so good in our lives, whatever, we have to, um, you know, put on a persona and, you know what I mean, appear as everything does look good or whatever to, um, you know what I mean, I guess to, uh, in order to, um, to make it, in order to, you know what I'm saying, go with the flow. And sometimes we're doing it to please others. And sometimes we're just trying to fit in. Or sometimes we're even trying to just make ourselves feel better. You know what I mean? And that is, that isn't always to say, you know, covering up things, covering up the truth of the matter. But it's just, that, you know how they say fake it till you make it. Sometimes you have to make uh, fake it until you make it. And that is faking your emotions, faking... You know what I'm saying? Your happiness, faking your well-being, just faking, period. You know what I mean? And um, it's like, okay, I don't know. You know, no one is perfect as it is, you know, obviously, you know, so, you know, um, frequently mentioned. As a lot of people say it because it is very much true. As they say, the truth is to be self-evident. It's very true, you know what I mean? In a lot of different circumstances. Now, of course, we know that the Moni and her son is, a situation is trending, you know. And uh, I just have a, a lot of it that I don't approve of or I don't agree with because it's like, to me, I just get the uh, image that, you know, Shalon... I hope I'm saying his name right, but it's like in a very nice and, um, you know, polite way, passive aggressive, have you want to, you know, word it or whatever. He's kind of, you know, he's like dissing his mom and that just don't sit right with me, you know, because even as the word says, you know, saying, and not, I, I'm not pressing any of my beliefs onto anyone else or whatever, but the thing is honor your mother and your father. Um, don't you know what I'm saying? Uh, it's another one, I can't get it right now, but basically, honor your mother and your father. So, regardless of what wrong they may have done, and I'm not saying to you know, um, push it under the rug or anything, but you know, what I'm saying at the end of the day, or bottom line, there is still your mom, there is still you know what I mean, who gave the person who gave you life, you know what I mean, because it could have been a decision to where it's like if she was so cold and malice. You know what I mean? And heartless and only thinking of self, she could have aborted you. And, you know, you know, excuse me, because I'm not trying to be harsh, but I'm just speaking reality, you know. I mean, it could have been that. But thank God that it didn't happen because you are another yet beautiful soul who got to make it into the earthly realm. So that was not God's purpose, okay? So, um, you know, I, I, I take it, you know, I'm so... How can I put that? I'm so touched by the situation because, like I said, I have my own personal um, grievances or things that I'm dealing with that, you know, that's similar to the same thing, you know. Like I said, I do have my oldest child I know for sure still resents me from, you know, her upbringing, you know, some things that happened in the past or whatever, you know. And it's like, you know, okay, as you say, no one is perfect. So if you know that and you understand that, and this is for anyone, if you know that no one is perfect, you know that people are subject to make mistakes, you know that things happen or whatever, you know, why can't you find a place in your heart to forgive? You know what I'm saying? No, nothing happens overnight, you know? 
but you know it has obviously it has been years you know what i'm saying but another thing that you mentioned you know what i mean neither of us so in that sense i take it that you're taking responsibility as well so yes like i said before it takes two it takes two you know what i mean it takes two to tangle etc so it's like okay you won't come across the aisle and i won't come across the aisle no i don't know how many times that she attempted or whatever but she will say you know you say she won't come across the alley so okay y'all meet in the middle but i will say this like i said i don't know how many times she attempted but i know that i'm a witness i know that i have attempted certain things i have apologized and heart heart heartfelt or deeply you know what i'm saying sincerely and i know that you know what i mean nobody else can tell anyone what's true to them all you can do is assume you know what i mean but i know in my position position i know how i have attempted and did certain things or whatever but yeah at the end of the day you cannot force anyone to be a certain way to say a certain thing to you know what i'm saying it's not always going to be something that that appeases you that pleases you or whatever you know what i'm saying it just is what it is now again like monique was saying to shannon uh you it's up to you to accept you know what i mean i can apologize to you all day long but it's up to you to accept but if i have apologized to you all day long and you have not accepted i make it tiring and i say you know what once again i'm gonna fall back and i leave the door open my arms are still open i'm still waiting on you so that's what she mean when you're ready you come come to her I can attest to that because I am the same way. I have said the same thing. You know, it's like I can't force you to forgive me. I can't force you to love me, you know. And uh, mind you, yes, um, I have gotten, you know, where, oh, mama, I forgive you. Um, um, It's okay. I love you. I accept your apology. But yet I get, you know what I mean, Um, um, different treatment. You get what I'm saying? I get the treatment where I know that I'm being disrespected. I know that I'm being um, discounted, miscounted, however, you know what I'm saying, refused, denied, or I'm um, belittled. You get what I'm saying? A person knows when they're in the presence of, or, you know, the energy of being not fair, you know, with someone that's not treating them fair. Well, I can't say everybody know, but you get what I'm saying? I can attest that that is something that I have, you know, I have discernment, you know, and if it don't feel right, it don't feel right. So again, nobody can force you to accept, you know what I'm saying? Their apologies. No one can ex uh, force you to love, you know, none of those things or whatever, but the, 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 the thing of assumption, that's, that's like, wow that's terrible don't assume that your mother don't love you because i would say i would believe and that's being an outsider looking in i would believe that she do love you because i mean for one you know you're here you know what i'm saying and, and she cared enough to put you in the hands of someone else who cared enough for you to raise you up beyond years of you know what i'm saying a uh, uh, adolescent you know what i'm saying you 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 you're grown now you get what i'm saying so obviously she cared enough to put you in the hands of somebody who can take you further further than what she could you understand so maybe she wasn't able to do this or that you know what i'm saying whatever but i can say and i'm not just taking up for her and i'm not taking up for her but i'm speaking the real you understand but she did that or whatever because she cared as a mother, as a, a, a one who experienced some things like this, because I care, I was, I, you know, I seen you, you go be with your dad because I can't do it right now. You go be with your auntie because I can't do it right now. I'm going to trust your godmother to do this and X, Y, Z for you because I can't do it right now. Regardless of the situation, regardless if it's because I'm focused on something else at that time, whether it be a career or uh, 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 another man, which is not bad. I mean, not bad. I'm so sorry, which is not always good but it happens you know what i'm saying we are not a perfect people and this is not a perfect world it happens you understand what i'm saying so when that person it gets that knowledge and that growth you know what I'm saying inside of them then that's when you can um you know what i'm saying uh what you call it? rectified or you know uh make it right you know as they say cross that bridge when you come to it you understand Yes, when you come up on this situation, then you deal with it. No one is, you know, um, 
I can't say no one is psychic. <laughs> so scratch that. But it's a lot of time. The normal person can't see into the future. The normal person can see, okay, well, if I do this and X, Y, Z, then this is going to be the outcome. And I'm sorry, but it don't work like that. But, you know, it's like, you know, again, I keep, I can't help but keep saying that I like the fact that you acknowledge that, okay, neither one of us. That is taking accountability for yourself. Also putting, you know, putting in, put, what is it, the ball is in both the y'all court. How can one ball be in two different courts at the same time? I don't know. But there it is, you know. Um, but, yeah, I, I, I don't, you know, I, I'm kind of, it's like... It bothers me, of course, and not only due to the fact that, you know, I have my own dilemma uh, similar to this, but also the fact that it's like, okay, you just kind of like bad mouthing your mom and that's not cool because now it's like it's a battle it's going back and forth your word against hers and her word against yours and then it's like well i say this i say that you know it's like oh no you don't do that type of stuff openly you know what i mean but you know you guys have you know brought it to the um the forefront to the viewers, you know what I'm saying? We're the audience, we're the public, and we have the right to speak on these things. We have the right to share our opinions, whatever they may be, you know. Um, I, I just, I don't know. It's just, you know, it's not really a good look, but it's understandable because, again, we are human. We're not perfect, you know what I'm saying? And, and it's like, okay, okay, so where do we go from here? That's one of those things. Where do we go from here? At what point will we stop, you know, going back and forth and trying to highlight the truth? Uh, well, I know my truth, and and you know, on the other hand, the person, the other person, but I know my truth, and and I'm sticking to this. You know what I'm saying? So, at what point are you going to make it? Okay, let's bring our truth together and let's work it out. Well, you know how they say, uh, how you can apologize, saying, well, I'm sorry that you thought I meant it that way, but I didn't mean it like that. I apologize. I'm sorry. I'm sorry that you thought I wasn't there for you, but I did my best. I tried, and, you know, um, I'm just sorry. I'm sorry that I put my career before you. I just thought that that was more important because I was focused on the fact that we needed to eat. We needed to survive. We needed a place to stay. We needed X, Y, Z. I'm sorry that you felt that way because that was not my intention. And that is not my purpose. That is not what I meant, son, but that's what I did. I'm sorry, daughter, that I yelled at you. I wasn't angry like that at you, but those were my emotions at that time. And that's what, you know, got me there where I was yelling and I abusively, you know, um, a raise y'all uh, verbally abusive now now i wasn't you know like physical all the time but now like i say i admit it yeah i would pop my kids you know what i'm saying i would whoop my kids i would punish my kids you know what i mean but it wasn't no 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 what, what did i call it <laughs> no gruesome you know i'm gonna beat you down and i'm you know, you got bruises on your head. You're going to school and the school's investigating and they, they worried about it. No, it wasn't none of that. None of that. And that's what you call abuse. That is what you call abuse. I did not do that. Thank God I did not do that. I was angry, but I wasn't that angry, you know. But yes, um, everybody, you know, as they say, everybody deserves a second chance. And second chance don't mean okay well i forgive you now okay i forgive you now i forgive you now. it's like okay i mean as the bible says god has forgiven us 70 times 70 times 70 times 70 so it means that's an ongoing thing whenever you come to me and you repent and you are soulfully um 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 authentic sincere you know what i'm saying i definitely take that in consideration but I don't want to hold no 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 grudge towards you forever. I don't want to be cold and just block you out and just say, you know what? No, no. I heard that before. No. Ex nah. And you know what I'm saying? But hey, everybody works things out in their own way, in their own timing. But, you know, um, I know a person who can definitely, you know what I mean, help you get to the bottom of this. You know what I'm saying? And that is God. The God above. Nobody can tell me. Who God is to me. Nobody can tell me how, you know, God works through me. You know, it just is what it is. But again, I'm not perfect and I'm not preaching. But I am sharing 
my advice. I am sharing my opinions. I am sharing, you know, how I view things. And it's like, you know, I, I just pray for y'all because this is not, you know, it's not cute, of course, you know. But I know how how blogs are, how media is, you know what I'm saying? And this is just what it is, you know. It's just one of those things, you know. One person say one thing or whatever, then the truth gets out. And then it's like, okay, you 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 were on a platform. And you were seen by millions of people. So now I got to come back and say something. So ain't that the same thing that happened with <laughs> when, when, when um, Shannon Sharp interviewed the other people such as Ricky Smiley. Uh, I believe it was Steve Harvey. Um, um, and some others, I'm not sure if it was Faison or whatever, but then he interviewed some people and some things that they said, you know what I'm saying? Get, you know, of course the, the, it was viewed by millions of people as well as Cat Williams. So Cat Williams had to come back, take a seat on the couch and set the record straight in his own right. You understand what I'm saying? We can't dispute that. We don't know what's true and what's not, you know what I'm saying? But that's how he feel about it. That's what he say. You know what I'm saying? So who knows? I mean, other than, okay, if you have a situation and that's just two people involved, then it's going to be your side, your side, your truth, my truth. But if you have a middleman, then that middleman is that witness to know, okay, well, these facts are accurate. These facts are not. Or some of these facts are accurate. Some of these facts are accurate. You get what I'm saying? So that's there you go. That's what it is, you know. But yeah, um, you know, I, it's like you know, um, what am I trying to say here? You have your uh, account of things. Your mother has her account of things. You get what I'm saying? And that's just how it is in the world, period. You know what I'm saying? Everybody have their account of things. You know what I'm saying? But it's like, okay, well, tell the truth. Tell the truth. It's like, I am telling my truth. That is how I felt about it. That is how I see it, you know? And I mean, it just is what it is. You know, who can persuade you? Who can persuade you? The truth can't be persuaded. It can't. It can't be manipulated. The truth don't have to have, like I say, you know, the truth does not need influence. It does not need, um, 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 what can I say? It don't need an excuse. The truth don't have to hide. The truth don't have to be afraid. The truth is the truth. You know what I'm saying? But again, we have the truth and it can be perceived different ways. You know what I'm saying? You have your account and she has her accounts. You understand what I'm saying? I have my accounts. And my daughter has her accounts. I have my opinion. My daughter has her opinion. I have my views. My daughter has her views. I have my way of dealing with things. My daughter has her way of dealing with things. So, and just what it is, you know, you know, we, we just in a society where it's like, okay, um, hey, what to say? <laughs> Some people plead the fifth. Some people don't want to say anything. But, you know what I'm saying, it, it's just that y'all, you know, it come this way and, and it's like, it's now it's getting out there. And it's sad because it's like, oh, wow. But, you know, it's reality. It's the world we live in and it is what it is. So I just pray that things do get rectified, you know what I mean? And um, no, no child should have to suffer. But sometimes they do, you know, sometimes they do. But it's like, you okay. I want to make right. Let 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 the right be made. Don't hold no grudges. Don't hold nothing against them. You know what I mean? It's in the past. Let it be in the past. You know what I mean? And you know, by all means, let the mom let let the, let your mom be the grandmama. Cause I'm telling y'all, when how we and I, I'm gonna say this because of my experiences, how I was as a young mom, the mom of my children. I'm not like I'm totally different as a grandparent. My um. Emotions are different, you know. I, I cry easy. I cry at the drop of a dime. You know what I'm saying? It's like I don't want to see my grandkids get a spanking, even though I know, even if I know the mom might not be even, you know what I'm saying? She's definitely not trying to hurt them. You know, me as a mom, I wasn't trying to hurt my kids, but I was like, okay, but this is what I know to do. This is how I whoop you. This is how I chastise you. Even the Bible says the father who will not chastise their children does not love them. He's not a good father. Because you're supposed to test your, test your kid. You're supposed to teach them right from wrong. You understand? Of course, don't just go beat them and whip them or whatever. And they don't know what it is. They can have done a number of things. 
Because that's like, well, when am I getting a whooping for now? I don't even know. No, that's not how you do it, you know. But yes, T, you know, put a it's a lesson. Put a lesson in there. You know what I'm saying? If you're going to chastise them, whatever, make sure that they know why they're getting chastised, you know. That's just that. But yeah, I don't feel that. I don't sense that, you know, coming from... You know, Monique, I'm not, that's not to say that, oh, she could never be like that. She could never, oh, no, I put that, uh-uh. No, that's not true. But I do know that people do change. And, you know, she could have been, you know, uh, or just say the evil mom or that's what you say now. Uh, the mom who neglects, the mom who put the career first and this and that. And there was not much love. Yes, okay, it could have been that way. It could have been that way. You know what I'm saying? But okay. It is definitely, you know, um, a thing where she could have changed. She could have improved. So give her the benefit of a doubt and accept that. Accept it for what it is. It's like, can you find forgiveness in your heart? Huh? Can you find forgiveness in your heart? Babies out there, children, grown or not, you know what I mean? Whatever your parents have done in the past, they may have hurt you. They may have had a uh, left a bad taste in your mouth. A however, or a taste, a, a, a bad emotion, whatever, in your heart. Can you forgive? Can you come to a place where it's like, okay, let me see where you at now. Let's just see how we can move forward. Let's move, let's, let's just try that. Let's try that. Because you don't want to up one day, you make a mistake with your own child. And your child holds that against you forever. You understand? She hold it against you. You know, so now you wondering, why is my child not talking to me? Why is my child, you know what I'm saying, going off and doing what she want to do, not taking my advice, not listening even, not even giving me the benefit of a doubt. Oh, my daughter got married. I didn't know that. Oh, wow. Why wasn't I invited? Why I didn't know about it? You don't want that to happen because now your child is holding on to something that happened in a childhood and only that child know what it is. Of course, you know, because you were there, you did it, but you don't know that they still holding on to that, you know, and the child is still married. But like I said, they're grown now, but okay, still your child is still mad and, and everything holding that against you or whatever, but you know not what it is and why that's not fair. That's not fair to the parent. That's not fair even to you. Because if you want a sincere apology, you got to let it be known. Like even the word says, you know, let your petition be known. If I'm saying it right, make you write it down. You know, make your vision plain. Write it down. What do you want? So, okay, let's let not think about writing. But you speak it. What is it that you want? What is it that you want me to apologize about? What is it that I did to you? I will get emotional. I'm trying to, I'm going to hold it back because I have to be strong in this moment. Because I even, like I mentioned before in a previous video, I talked to my daughter, one of my other daughters. And I say, you know, I know that I wasn't the best parent. I know that I did something. I know I was in a different space. I know that. And I know that y'all still have these grudges. I don't know what it is particularly, but I want you to be specific with me and let me know. I know it may be more than one thing, one incident, but let me know what it is that you holding on to the most. What is most dear to you that you want an apology for. And she let me know. And by all means, with no hesitation, I apologize. Because sometimes we can do things and we can hurt you. And we don't know. We don't realize. You understand? We don't realize that that stings you. We don't know and realize. It's sometimes, I'm not going to say we, but sometimes you could say some things to a kid. And it stick with them. And it scars them for life. And they can hold on to that. You understand what I'm saying? You know how they say elephants never forget. Neither do children. Or even if they grow, neither do hurt people. People who have been hurt. I'm still holding on to things. Well, I'm like this. You know, forgiveness is not forgetting. You understand? Or vice versa. You can forgive, but you don't forget. Okay? So I still remember some things that happened to me. And I know everything, every word for word, fact for fact. You know what I'm saying? So um, you could say I'm still holding on to it, but I may not be complaining about it all the time, but it is what it is. So you can hold on to things that you can, you know, whew, 
But the thing is, when you're having a grudge, that means there is a place of non-forgiveness. And that's how you continue to hurt yourself. So don't hurt yourself. Allow that truth to come out. Speak them facts. Tell your mom exactly what it is that you want apology for. If, if it's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, to have many, however many things. Voice that. Let her know all things. But this dynamic right here is pitiful. It's sad. You know what I'm saying? And by all means, I, 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 I again, not holding up for Monique, but I attest to it because I am there. I have been there. I walked in them shoes. You know what I'm saying? And to get to a place to where it's like, okay, well, I did what I can do. So now I'm waiting on you. When you ready? Yes, we. It, it happens, sweetheart. It happens. I myself am a witness, but I don't want it to be like that. You understand what I'm saying? Because you may continue to hold a grudge and be forever just hating me and I'm still not knowing. Okay? So I can be cool and living in peace day by day, but there's still a smile. You know how people say you will always have a place in my heart? So that truth is like there's always a speck. There's always something there because I'm wondering, why haven't I heard from you in months? Why haven't I talked to you? Why haven't I seen my grandkids? Why is the dynamic how it is? You keeping it away from me. You won't let me see the kids. You won't, you know what I'm saying? So I say, you, I see you're punishing me. But why are you punishing me? You know what I'm saying? So now a person can be, you know, hurt by that, affected by it, but then they can let it go as well. But as long as, you know what I'm saying, you have Jesus, you have God who can give you the strength to get through it. But yet and still, you still hold that sense like, I still love my child. I want my child to know that I love them. That's my prayer, mine, my prayer every night. I want my kids to know that I love them. I want them to feel that. I want them to accept that. But again, like I said, we can't force it. We can't force it. You understand? But just know this. God allows people to have children and others to have children and children and children and stuff so that they can learn their own through their own experiences. You're not always going to be the perfect mom or the perfect dad. You're not always going to have the answers. You're not always going to do it right or get it right. You understand what I'm saying? You may slip up. You may say something wrong. You may um, um discipline wrong. You know what I'm saying? But it's like, okay, now I got my children. Now, how am I going to do this? You can try, 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 try to be the most perfect parent. And there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that. What they say, um, um, breaking the curse or, you know what I mean? Not complete, uh, continuing a cycle. However, you get what I'm saying? Make a change, break the chain. However, and that's all good. That's all good. But hey, you can start up a whole new set of uh, cycling or doing something wrong or whatever. But no, it's like, you know, how they say what goes around comes around, as we know, karma. You know what I'm saying? You hate me. You hold a grudge against me. You might do something to your child and your child hold a grudge against you and hate you. You don't want that to continue. No, wipe the slate clean. You know what I'm saying? Let it go. But again, sweetheart, she's not going to know what it is if you don't tell her. Talk to your mom. I know there may be something specific. And, and you know, uh, however many times, like I said, just let it be known. That's the best thing, okay? I pray for y'all. I really hope that you all work it out. Um, of course, I'm praying for my own situation. I hope that, you know, and I hope, but I pray that things be worked out. But in God's perfect timing, it shall be. And I claim in it. I receive it, and I trust it, okay? This is Pretty Baby Jackson. Again, this is Bottom Line with Pretty Baby. Again, this is a, um, uh, I guess you would say a different um, type or whatever because I don't have my theme song playing in the background as I um, introduce, etc. You know, happy Valentine's Day. May love spread all over the world. Let it be up in the air along with the vibes. Keep on going up. Never be beneath. And keep on holding to your truth, but resolve it. Work it out. Learn to forgive and continue to love. This is your girl, Pretty Baby Jackson. If you want to follow me on any of my other platforms, the information is in the description below. As well, if you feel led to donate anything, whatever your dime, time, dollar, whatever, I appreciate it greatly. And the cash app information is down below as well. 
I thank you all for tuning in and giving me your time again. Be blessed.